Illuminoid Nation. So today's video I'm reacting to is by Jonathan Pye. This video was made a while back in November, back when the elections were going on. Wow, Donald Trump is president. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, good luck with seven years of him. Although it's supposed to be four, but you know he's going to get reelected. And what fun is that going to be? That's going to be so much fun. Anyways, the U.S. election, an idiot's guide. <laughs> Idiocracy is on our way, or is already here. We are, you guys already have President Camacho. I'm not American, so that I'm, that's what I'm saying, because you guys, Americans have President Camacho already. All right, let's do this shit. the Thames, Central London. I'm not listening to you, Tim. I'm not listening. I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to you, Tim. Because... Because I should be going to Washington, not you. I should be on that plane and not you. So I'm not gonna, you know. What, 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 do, you, what do you mean? Apart from the fact he's a man, she's a woman. What do you, I'm not. I'm not gonna help you out, Tim. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Uh, one Who's is Tim? a wealthy, corrupt businessman. One is a wealthy, corrupt politician. Yep. But I mean, you're writing this down. Did you used to copy other people's homework? <laughs> all right, I'll do it in, in simple terms. All right. She'll keep Obamacare, he'll get rid of it. She's pro-choice, he's pro-life this week. He's pro-gun, she's pro-gun control, and by that she means having a couple of background checks before you can buy a military-grade assault weapon. Already, those are three reasons why Americans would vote one way or the other, no matter, regardless of the candidate. Okay, now on policy, on those three policies... Man, this was just a Clinton, popularity right? vote the but entire this time. This is America we're talking about. Don't get me wrong, I love America, I love mass shootings and fat people as much as the next person. Love mass shootings and fat people. matter to them. Yeah. Okay, so over there you get elected by talking about you know uh, abortion or guns or immigration or abolishing a healthcare system a little bit like the Tories I suppose uh, what else um, well they're both pretty trigger happy or well, they look pretty trigger happy to me although he looks like he'd shit his pants the minute he walked into the situation room where she <laughs> Donald like Trump always looks like he shit his pants her balls on the desk and start barking orders at a three-star general um, she, he wears suits, she wears these sort of weird executive onesies like she's going to a, a high-powered sleepover. She's in the pocket of um, corporations, he is yeah. a corporation, so basically... It's a lose-lose situation corporated or by all the corporations that own Hillary, which is all of them, apart from Trump Incorporated. She's being investigated for, well, basically... Something treason, emails. Really. Some bullshit about emails. ...for multiple sexual assaults. So Hillary really should have it in the bag because she might be many things, but she's not a pussy grabber. Yep. But she's got two massive problems. One, nobody likes her. Nobody <laughs> likes no, her. Really. Two, a congressman called Weiner sent a picture of his dick to a teenager, and by a series of extraordinary events, that could stop Clinton getting the White House. As soon as you would name your son anything with the last name Weiner, he's pretty complicated. much fucked for life. It's, it's, all right, uh, uh, American politics... Uh, an idiot's guide, okay? Uh, a total penis called Wiener got his cock out, which could mean a total dick in the Oval Office. The last dick in the Oval Office was a bush, which is confusing. Before that, the last dick in the Oval Office was that of Clinton's own husband, who got his out so it could be inflated by a 20-something intern. Before him, it was more... Clinton bush, was a bush, pimp bush, bush getting head, head in the Oval Office, office vice president to a movie while on the phone conducting stand. business. So the Oval Office is either full of bush, cock or the mentally impaired and now possibly trump which is what my son calls a fart bush cock or arse gas welcome to the wonderful world of american politics Simple and enough, you get seven more years of trump enjoy your flight what you know you honestly, do you know you do honestly i think trump will do it i like this jonathan pie i'm gonna check it out more often but yeah this was a this was some this was some fuck shit from the beginning, man. This was all some fuck shit. Man, it was what it was fun watching this shit. As a Canadian, watching this shit go down, it was hilarious. And the moment that Trump got elected, like so many people wanted to jump over to Canada, fuck the uh, the Canadian immigration site got shut down because too many people were like blasting the site. <laughs> Oh, God. And yeah, you Americans, you have seven more years of Donald Trump. You know you do. It's, like I said, four years, but you know that guy's going to get reelected. So enjoy your seven years. Oh, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.